Hey guys, today I wanted to review the inversion table that I bought about two weeks ago for a spondylosis in my thoracic um, spine or mid-back. Basically, I have pain and some degeneration in, uh, in the discs. Um, I've tried all different solutions and so I, I wanted to try the inversion table as well. Um, it took me about an hour and a half to assemble it, so no big deal, all hardware is provided. Um, and uh, so far I've seen some results in the low back but not so much in the thoracic area. Um, so um, for those people who have some pain in the low back or sciatica, this is a really great solution. Um, and I can't say too much about the neck pain or uh, mid back pain. So let me show you what settings this machine has. First things first, there are different adjustments right over here based on your height starting from 4 feet uh, 10 inches or 147 centimeters which is really uh, close to the setting that I use and you can uh, you can adjust it um, basically it pulls out sorry it pulls out basically um, all the way down to 6 feet uh, 198 centimeters there are also different adjust uh, angles uh, starting from 15 degrees and all the way uh, to 85 degrees. Um, so you pr uh, 85 degrees is the highest uh, angle. So basically, you're pretty much uh, uh, falling down, which I will demonstrate in a second. All right, and this is how you basically use it. How I use it. Um, there's adjustment for your feet over here. So you lift it up, get in and adjust so that your feet are nice and tight so you don't fall back. And then you just select your angle on the side here and uh, let me select, um, this is a 60 degree angle and you hold on and you slowly, slowly recline just like that. And so the issue with this particular inversion table for me is that because of my weight, I weigh about 115 pounds, you can see that even if I, I really have to lower my arms down to get that ang the reclined angle. At the highest angle, I cannot get reclined all the way because I just keep coming back up. So this is a limitation if you uh, weigh uh, you know, less than 115, and I'm not sure how it would work with 120 and above. But I, I assume the more you weigh, the more willing it will be reclining. So basically what I do, I basically recline like this and I spend about two minutes per session. Uh, and already I start feeling some stretching in my low back right over here. But again, to feel that stretch in the upper back and your neck, what I have to do is I have to pull myself downward to get that stretching. Again, not very comfortable, uh, but you have to do that. Another alternative is to get two weights and then, um, I guess, pull yourself down like this. I haven't done that yet, but this is an option for me. And then you slowly, slowly recline back and try not to do it really fast because you can get dizzy. Um, so far, I haven't had any issues with actually dizziness or anything like that. So, um, yeah, no issues there. Besides that, it's a very sturdy machine. Once you assemble it, it's really sturdy. There's really, um, it, it's, it's well made, nicely welded. Um, and even for a heavier person, um, I had a, a person at 185, degree, uh, 185 pounds using this machine. And again, no big deal, very sturdy. Um, the, um, the seat itself is, is, the table itself is comfortable, um, so no problems there at all. So the only issue, I, like, I, I, like I said, uh, is my lower weight, it just uh, does not recline all the way as I want it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to submit it in the comment section right below.